Hi, welcome back to the Woodshop Nerdery. For some time, I've been trying to figure out a good way to hold work pieces to my workbench. In this video, I'm going to discuss my latest attempt to find a solution to that, which is this new to me Xylus Vice clamping system. I'll tell you a little bit about why I chose this system and how I got to this point. Before I tell you about my Xylus Vice, I need to give you a little background, which, strangely enough, begins with my Shopsmith Mark V. On Shopsmith systems, you set the height of the table saw blade by changing the height of the table. Since the table moves up and down, it also makes sense to have an in-feed outfeed system that moves up and down. I have found that the Husky adjustable height work table from Home Depot makes a great complement to the Shopsmith system. It makes great in-feed and out-feed support for my table saw, but it's also great in-feed and out-feed support for my thickness planer, my belt sander, and my bandsaw. But this work table gets lots of other use in my workshop. I use it to drill dowels, pocket holes, layout projects, sand projects, assembling projects, staining, painting, and finishing, and many, many other uses. So when it comes to holding work pieces, I just can't afford to have a big, clunky, permanent vise attached to this table. I did try attaching small, traditional metal vices to this workbench. For some things, it worked okay. For others, it didn't. So I needed a better solution. As an experiment, I tried creating a dog hole apron for the workbench. I'll tell you how many times I actually used it. And that's exactly one time, which you're seeing now in this video. So still, I'm looking for a solution. This brings us to my Xylus Vice system. I have the Profi King Plus model, which I bought used off of eBay. This model comes with quite a few bits and pieces, and I'm not gonna go through all of them because I haven't used all of them yet. The components I've used and will be discussing in this video are the flush end stop, the bench clamps, the standard vice body, and a little later on, the turntable. I need to remove some furniture factory glue from these scraps of maple I got from taking apart a dresser. I want to get rid of it before I run it through my thickness planer. So I'll set up the Xylus vise in what they call the low jaw grip mode. In this arrangement with the flush end stop and the main vise body clamped upside down, I can secure pieces that are as long as my workbench. I can also use the low jaw grip mode for sanding. For smaller pieces, I don't need the flush end stop. I can just use the main clamp body, as long as the work piece fits between the two clamp ends. Here, the vise helps me hold this long work piece vertical. The vise clamps not only at the top of the jaws, but also down at the base, so it gets a pretty firm grip. I've read online that the vise jaws can be somewhat fragile, and that if you tighten it too tight, it can actually crack them. I definitely don't want to do that, so I've been a little timid about getting enough pressure on the workpiece. Here you can see the workpiece actually slips because I haven't tightened it enough. 
This component is called the turntable. I can bolt it to the main clamp body, allowing me to turn the vise 90 degrees to the workbench. There's also other things you can do with it. You can you can go multiple angles and you can also you can also tilt the vise horizontally if you set it up right. I haven't tried any of those things, so I'm not going to discuss them in this video. I get even more flexibility out of the vise because I've attached it to my adjustable height workbench. Here I'm having trouble with the quick release mechanism. Since it's mounted flush to the work table, I can't engage the quick release all the way, so I can't move that lower jaw back and forth. But I can still just crank it with the handle. I think I cranked the workbench a little too high. It would probably be more comfortable if I cranked it down a bit. Okay, that feels a little better. Since I have the vise at the 90 degree position to the workbench, this filing task is a lot easier. I do have to say that my go-to method for holding work pieces down to the workbench is to just clamp them. That works if they're large enough or long enough, but for the smaller pieces, the Silas vise is working out really well. So that's my Silas vise clamping system. I think it's working really great. One of the features that makes it work really well for me is I can unclamp it from the workbench and restore my table to something else like an assembly table or outfeed table without the vise getting in the way. I also like the fact that it's versatile. You could either use it in the standard mode or you can use it upside down. You can also turn it 90 degrees or use it parallel to the workbench. That flexibility, I think, really is going to make this a long-term vice for me. That's it. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. I'll see you next time, but before you go, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Bye.